Okay, so we've just about been driven crazy by this engine not wanting to run properly. And uh, uh, so what you'll see, up, we've got electronic ignition in here. And we'll show you here in a minute, but the rotor is halfway between the, between the number one and the number, excuse me, the number one and the number five wires when it fires. So basically we're jumping a huge gap from, uh, we're, I mean, we're firing both of these at the same time. One of them fires more faintly. So when you see number one fire up there, watch this guy right here. One fires, one fires, one fires. That guy is number five. The one you're watching right there is number five. So five is firing at the same time as one. Five and one are right next to one another. In the terms of the firing order, it's one, five, three, six, two, four. So one and five are firing together. Uh, and, as you, as, and as you go down through here, we found that five and three are firing together, three and six are firing together, two and four are firing together, four and one are firing together. So um, the uh, because have we moved the uh, have we moved that yet? Go ahead and just fire number one. Pull a cap. Pull a cap off and show. I'll get around to this other side. So the number one wire is this wire right here. If I'm not mistaken, right here. And the five wire is over here. So it's it's pretty close. It's closer than it was actually. Uh, but we had for a while we had to move this magnet because for a while it was firing directly in the middle in between the two. That's pretty close right there. That would be right. You want to lift that cap? I'm gonna hold the hold my finger right where the. It's dead on actually so okay but anyway we discovered that and it looks like we've corrected that um, but we're still getting a mild spark as you saw on five which is uh, a little concerning because we don't know if it's enough to kick back it has been for the last couple of days and uh, this was a uh, you know you expect you expect the uh, the electronic ignition to fire exactly when your rotor button is in position for your number one and your number five and your number three respectively. So uh, anyway, just an interesting, if you're having trouble uh, getting that engine to go and you've just changed your into electronic ignition, that may be part of the problem.